So, um, how did you get the design? What made you pick this? Well, um, I reached out. Um, I reached out to, to Harvest um, to see what they had in the way of um, cellars and designs and, and racking. Um, my previous home, I had a wine cellar, but I did it all with homemade kit racking, and I wanted something a lot nicer. And then I talked to Tim, and then we, um, I sent him the dimensions of the room, and that's kind of where he got started, and he sent me some concept drawings, and then um, kind of looked back and forth between different um, rack um, suppliers, um, and, and, and settled on this one because it was in the right, uh, right price range for me, and uh, good looking um, materials, so construction. And then, uh, and then we got moving to finalize um, an actual design. And Tim came up here uh, one day and kind of fine-tuned the measurements, which was good because we, we caught a few things that I hadn't measured properly. And then, uh, and then we got it built. And uh, I, I put it together with a, um, a friend of mine, and I did most of the assembly. So it took us a little while, but well worth it. Can you tell me something about the wood? What kind of wood did you choose? Um, I believe this is redwood, heartwood. Uh, it's unfinished. And um, it is uh, really good quality wood for, for wine racks and uh, doesn't need a finish. If I had gone with a lacquer finish, it would have given a darker appearance. Um, but I like it unfinished the way it is. And, and it's very, very uh, resilient. You know, in terms of moisture and so forth. And it's got a beautiful color. Yeah, it does. It does. It would be, it would look redder if uh, we had gone with a lacquer finish. And how many bottles does it hold? Uh, the cellar holds very, very close to a thousand bottles. Wow. Yeah. It looks like you've got room for cases up above or um, in your... Yeah, that's, that's including these uh, larger storage areas, the diamond shaped. Diamond bins as well. Yeah. Nice. So I love your map of Australia. What made you put that up there? Well, I, I had a wonderful trip to Australia in 2004 and um, it was the most amazing, it was a business trip. And I spent uh, 12 days there and I only had to work, I had to give a presentation at a reception in the evening to the mining community um, five times, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday and Wednesday. So I had spent all that time there and time to kill between and I had the whole weekend that I ended up spending in the uh, Adelaide area and some some of my hosts were very nice and took me to uh, two of the uh, the Barossa Valley and the um, what was the other valley we went to? Um, anyway another another wonderful wine area in, in that same region so I bought the map to commemorate fashion and also in the Hunter Valley as well. So well, that's a great country for wine and nice people. That was a great trip. Yeah, so the way the, way the wine cellar was, uh, the way the room was designed by the builder, the room was a little bit too big um, for a wine cellar. So I had to make it a little bit smaller and they did this alcove and so then uh, I worked with Tim to figure out you know, what, would, what would work there because um, it's not ideal necessarily for racks. So we decided to do this um, sort of a desk um, thing. So I've got you know, a place to keep my, my um, different records on wine and, and notes and stuff and a place to store um, containers and, and so forth. And uh, it'll be a nice little tasting area. Um, so I've uh, got, the, got the nice racks for the wine glasses and uh, probably will end up storing some of my scotch in here as well because I'm a single malt scotch guy. So I um, haven't exactly figured out what I'm doing with, with this area yet, but uh, um, plenty of potential and some nice little triangular display, display areas which will probably end up getting my scotch bottles like so. Um, <clears throat> this company online called uh, winelabels.com 
and they make custom labels and they're nice little brass um, labels with um, uh, adhesive on the back and so I've got my wines organized sort of by region of the world and type of wine so um, just so you know right now this wine cellar is almost exclusively red wine right now this is my sole bottle of white wine <laughs> in the whole cellar my wife and I like red we've got some desserts but so I've got Australia um, South Africa, Argentina, and Chile. Um, I've got a few Virginia Reds. I'm not a big fan of Virginia wines. I have some other varietals. Then we've got uh, Merlot, got Spain and Portugal. And over here in the uh, curved corner area, I have Zinfandel and Pinot Noir. And then this is almost all California. I've got red blends here. Um, well, actually, down here I have uh, Italy. I've got Tuscany reds and Piedmont reds, and I've got uh, Rhone and Provence, and I've got Bordeaux from France. And then that entire section is all California Cabernets. So, um, quite a few of those. Quite a few of those. Okay, so what kind of cooling unit is this? Uh, this is a Wine Guardian unit. Um, I purchased this also from uh, Harvest. And um, that's why the wine cellar had to be sized the way it was because this is the biggest unit, I believe, that you can do it through the wall. Otherwise, you have to get into a more complex kind of cooling system. And this, this is very easy to install. Um, just nice through the wall um, with a dedicated circuit. And uh, this room is um, 1,500 cubic feet, so that's the limit that this guy can handle. So keeps keeps the room. I've got it set at 57 or 58 degrees Fahrenheit, and keeps it at about 58, 59 percent relative humidity. So it's through the wall, so it vents into the room into behind. The next room, which you can uh, you can see, we can show you. That. Okay, now the floor is tile? The, the floor, yes, the floor is a, uh, a, a, a slate tile, and um, which I had my builder install, and I wanted it to look very, very rustic, kind of, um, oh, I don't know, a little bit uh, like Tuscany. In fact, I'm, I haven't painted the walls yet, and what I probably will do is what I did in my previous wine cellar, I'll probably put a stucco. Um, effect on the walls, which it gives you a nice kind of a rustic feel and, uh, and it'll go well with this floor. Oh, that's a good choice. I like the color. Yeah, it's, I think it's neat colors. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 